Hey there, Dr. Craig Hazel here. Listen, today what I want to do is I want to show you how to squat properly. The reason why the squat is so important is it's a primal movement. It's something that we are designed to do. We do it every single day, whether it be picking something up off the floor, whether it be going to the bathroom, whether it be getting in and out of the car, out of a chair. But the biggest thing is that most people don't know how to squat properly. So what I want to do in this video is just show you how to do a squat properly. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off standing up. I want you to put your feet forward about shoulder width apart, just a little wider. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna corkscrew our feet into the ground. And what I mean by that is we're gonna squeeze our backsides firmly. And as you do that, you notice how your hips start to rotate into the hip joint. What that does is it places the hip joint into the socket. And what you'll naturally feel is the arches of your feet will naturally lift up off of the ground. Okay, so you keep your toes and your heels down on the ground, but as you corkscrew, you're gonna feel your hips engage and you're gonna feel your rear end engage. Then, as we squat down, I want you to keep your torso nice and tall. As you squat down, you're pushing your knees open so that you can sink down between your feet. Notice in this position, my feet are, my knees are just slightly outside of my foot position. I'm still corkscrewing my heels into the ground and my rear end is engaged. As I squeeze and push back up, I'm gonna stand myself right back up. So again, corkscrew into the ground, reset, and then squat down. Now, if you have a really hard time getting down into this position, what you need to do is you need to work on stretching your uh, calf muscles as well as your groin. So to do that, what you can do is even just stay in this bottom position and try to sit here for, you wanna work your way up to 10 minutes. I know it sounds like a lot, but what you can do is you can actually start by sitting on a little bit of a riser just to engage yourself in this proper position, knees open, hips corkscrewed in, making sure that you're planting your feet. Same thing goes for if you're doing a one-legged exercise. You're gonna plant that foot forward, you're gonna corkscrew that hip in so you're engaging that hip and as you squat down now you're going to start to engage that proper hip pushing that knee open so that that way you've got proper kinematic function all the way from the ground up so that is how you're going to learn how to squat properly work at this i started doing this and it took me literally three weeks to get down into this position i can stay here for almost 15 20 minutes um, and just relax and just watch television, read a book, do whatever while the food is cooking on the stove. This is a great way to just get your time in uh, sitting and squatting properly. Hope this helps.